Welcome back to Bible Time with Logan. I'm going to tell you something. Facial hair is not apostolic. However you want to cut it, it's compromise. So Jesus had a beard, Isaiah 56. I offered my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who pulled out my beard. I did not hide my face from mocking and spitting. Aaron had a beard. Psalm 133, 1 through 2. How good and pleasant it is when God's people live together in unity. It is like precious oil poured on the head, running down on the beard, running down on Aaron's beard, down on the collar of his robe. David had a beard. 1 Samuel 21, 13. So he pretended to be insane in their presence. And while he was in their hands, he acted like a madman, making marks on the doors of the gate and letting saliva run down his beard. So this is 2 Samuel 10, 4 through 5. So Hanan seized David's envoy, shaved off half of each man's beard, cut off their garments at the buttocks, and sent them away. When David was told about this, he sent messengers to meet the men, for they were greatly humiliated. The king said, Stay at Jericho till your beards have grown, and then come back. Ezra had a beard, Ezra 9, 3. When I heard this, I tore my tunic and cloak, pulled hair from my head and beard, and sat down appalled. Ezekiel had a beard. Now, son of man, take a sharp sword and use it as a barber's razor to shave your head and your beard. Growing up in a few oneness Pentecostal churches, this is taught. This is something that the pastors truly believe. They want to be less like Christ in this regard. It's not biblical. It doesn't make any sense. And people will claim that they've gotten convicted over not having facial hair as a man. It's more so fear and control within the congregations. It has nothing to do with the Bible. And there's nowhere in scripture where it makes any kind of claim that men shouldn't have facial hair. In fact, you could make the argument in the complete opposite direction. Jesus had a beard. David had a beard. Aaron had a beard. Ezra had a beard. Ezekiel had a beard. David's servants had beards. It's, it's a good assumption to make that probably all the disciples and most men in the Bible had beards. So I'm readdressing this. I don't know where this particular pastor is getting this from, but this is something that is common in oneness Pentecostalism. I really want to specify with oneness Pentecostalism because that's what I've known growing up in it. I'm sure there are Pentecostal churches out there. Again, I've seen in the comment section where that's not the case in certain Pentecostal churches. But that's why this guy was so mad in the first place is because he's seeing his sect, his cult religion, no longer practicing this absurd thing that is not biblical. It's not biblical. Having a beard as a man is very common. And in fact, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ had a beard. 